Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, 2017 Leave Insert Ordinary Level Sequence and Series question was 7 in that year on paper 1. The first three patterns in a sequence of patterns of tiles are shown in the diagram below. Part A said, draw the next pattern of tiles onto the diagram above. Okay, I'm just going to draw it over here a little bit to the right to take advantage of the boxes. Okay, so two going down, three going down, four going down, so I need five going down. Okay, um, one in the middle, two in the middle, three in the middle, so I need four in the middle, one, two, three, four, and then I need to start my going down again. Okay, I think that's right. Not my strong point is drawing. Okay, so that's pattern four. Part B, based on the patterns above, complete the table below. So pattern number, so this is our T1, first term, T2, T3, T4, okay? It's how we often refer to our terms in a sequence. Our N is equal to one, N is equal to two, three, four, and we have to project it to the fifth. So there are five tiles here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the next one. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen in the next one. Okay, to double check my answer, because this was the pattern that I didn't draw, I'm going to have a look at the first difference, okay? So to get from 5 to 8, it was a plus 3. To get from 8 to 11 was a plus 3. And um, they've told me it's a sequence, so I know he's going to be a plus 3. So now I have more confidence in my pattern that it has four, 14 tiles and... I know the next one is going to have 17 tiles. So this is what's called an arithmetic sequence when the first difference is the same. OK, if that first difference wasn't the same, I would then check the second difference, which is the difference of the difference. And you can see that in the uh, 2018 question. Assuming the pattern continues, the number of tiles in the nth pattern of the sequence is given by the formula Tn is equal to Pn plus, plus Q, where P and Q is an element of N, so they're natural numbers. Find the value of P and the value of N, okay? Well, this is no real help to us. What was real help, though, was the fact that we now know that this is an arithmetic sequence. And from the log tables, we can see that in an arithmetic sequence, Okay, I have a lovely little formula here for Tn. Okay, and it relies on the first term of the sequence and what's called the common difference of the sequence to give me that um, value. Okay, so this is quite a common question um, in, in sequence and series. So Tn is equal to A plus N minus one times D, where A is the first term and D is the difference, okay? So the first term of my sequence, and um, we're doing it for the number of tiles. So this is my sequence here, five comma eight comma 11 comma 14 comma 17, okay? So five, eight, 11, 
14, 17, okay, with a common difference of 3. Okay, so my first term is 5 and my difference is 3. So filling these values in here, I get instead of a 5 plus, you can always write your d over here at the other side of that bracket. We did an example of that in the 2019 question, 3 times n minus 1. Okay, so it's 5 plus, now multiply it in, 3n minus 3, or tn is equal to 5 minus 3 is 2 plus 3n. I'm looking up up the, the order they want, so they want the n's first. So tn is equal to 3n plus 2. Okay, so then just doing a map, my p-value is 3. And my q is the 2. Okay, so that was part C of 2017. How many tiles are in the 20th pattern? Well, this is where the T formula comes out on its own because we know our Tn is equal to 3n plus 2. Okay, so it's a formula and you can see it at the top of the log tables. It's the nth term. So it's a formula that describes any term in a sequence. In other words, if I wanted to work out what was three T3, which is my third term in the sequence, I would just literally replace n by 3. Okay, so that I get three threes plus 2, which is 9 plus 2, which is 11. Okay, if we go back to our sequence, you can of course see that your third term was 11. So that's all the T, for, the T formula does, the TN formula. It allows us to work out very quickly the number of tiles or whatever, boxes, whatever, in a particular term. So when I'm asked then for the 20th pattern, I am actually asked for T20. So N gets replaced by 20. So it's 3 times 20 plus the 2, which is 3 20s are 60 plus 2, which is 62. Okay, and it's that easy. Okay, so that's how many tiles are in the 20th part, uh, the 20th pattern. The next part asks you then to find out which N or which pattern has exactly 290 tiles. So which N, let me write that a little bit different first, which N has 290 tiles? Okay, so instead of the TN here, put in the TN formula, which TN is equal to 290 tiles. Bring him over, 3N is equal to 290 minus 2, 3N is equal to, what's that, 288. Divide by the number in front of N, 288 divided by 3, and I'm getting n is equal to 96. Okay, so the 96th term has 290 tiles, of course, and I can check it. Okay, I can see is t96 equal to 290, which is 3 times 96 plus 2. And of course, that's 290. Okay, um, nothing really stopping with you doing this question by trial and error. OK, so you have your TN formula. OK, so then trial and error. OK, you know that um, TN is equal to 3N plus 2. OK, so you could try and guess what your N is. OK, so in other words, guess that 3, we, we, we'll, we'll pretend that N is equal to 50. And we'll see, do I have 290 tiles with that? So you're going 3 times 50 plus 2. And you can see that's 152, which is a lot less than 290 tiles. You could trial n is equal to 100. So you get 3 times 100 plus 2. And you can see that's 302 tiles. And you can see you're gone too big. And so you go back a bit. And eventually you will get n is equal to 96. Okay, so that's the trial and error method of doing it. It's 
trial and error is always a perfectly okay method of doing maths, but the far nicer way of doing it is just to use your algebra knowledge and just solve it for n. Okay, so there's more to this. Show that Sn is equal to 3n squared plus 7n over 2 is a formula for the total number of tiles needed to build the first patterns. So just like we said in the 2019 question, if it's an arithmetic sequence, you're expecting a question on Tn and then a question on Sn formula. And the Sn formula is the sum of the first n terms. Okay, so if I take down that formula, Sn is equal to n over 2 square bracket 2a plus n minus 1 times d. And just like before, a is your first term, which was a 5. Okay, and um, you can see it there, and our common difference is 3. Okay, so a is still 5, our common difference is still 3. Okay. So Sn then, so we're, we're finding a formula for Sn. So n stays n. They didn't tell us to find the sum of the first 20 tiles or 20 patterns, for example. We're developing a formula for Sn, okay? And not surprisingly, following it then, you're asked to use that formula to find the sum of the first 30 patterns. So in other words, n is 30. But here you're just developing that formula for Sn. So n stays n. A is 5, n minus 1 times 3. Okay, and the 3 can go after or the 3 can go in front. So Sn is equal to n over 2, 2 fives are 10, plus 3 by n is 3n minus 3. Okay, so Sn is equal to n over 2, 10 minus 3 is 7, plus 3n. Okay, um, so like we did in the 2019 question, we can multiply this in. So you multiply top by top. Okay, and then the two goes on the bottom. So seven by n is seven n. And then you just go top by top here. So three n by n is three n squared. And two is the only thing on the bottom. OK, and then you're comparing it to what they want it to look like up here. So they've just put the two common on the bottom. Well, that's easy to do. They have 3n squared first. Well, that's easy to do. I can swap the order of them. OK, so I can say that that's equal to 3n squared plus 7n over 2. OK, so try not to let the answer um, panic you as wondering where you're going to get it from. If it's an arithmetic sequence, chances are it's something got to do with these two formulas. Okay, and then when you're told to find the first 30 patterns, well, you're asked to find S30. Okay, so N here is replaced by 30. N in your formula gets replaced by 30. So it's three times 30 squared plus seven times 30 over two. Okay, hit the fraction button, in she goes, 3 times 30 squared plus 7 times 30 all over 2. And I have 1455 five tiles. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level 7 in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress onto the level eight in electronics and self-driving technologies, and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.